skill. Well, this is for short range, middle and long. Take your ankle and knee and hip joint forward more. Then you can kick like this. Tatsuya Naka Sensei teaches an important point to improve your karate. Today's theme is My Gary. Let's practice together. My Gary is the most basic kick. I will explain it in connection with posture, the transfer of center of gravity, and breathing. Gadambarai, please. Then kick my Gary. Kick and bring it back at the same spot. Itch. Make sure your center of gravity moves onto your front leg. Use your front hip joints well. Knee. Now raise your right leg. When you kick, you tend to focus on the kicking leg. You can't help but think about kicking with this foot. With that state, your kicking leg is weak when pushed from the front. It is also weak when pushed from above. Of course, you need the consciousness on the kicking leg. And what you should also focus on is to move the center of gravity to the forefoot and feel the ground with the hip joint. Are you itch? Loose your chu tandem. Then your kicking leg gets stronger when pushed from the front. Even if this is pushed from above, very strong. Please get this feeling first. Move forward at the first count. Itch. Let the center of gravity move. Yee. Your center of gravity moves. Um. Throw out your chest more. The moment you do this, you get weaker. <laughs> One more time. Throw out your chest. It's weak from the front as well. So focus on the transfer of center of gravity and posture. Itch. It's same feeling as Seiza. Make sure you take it here. I need. There are some things to keep in mind when shifting the center of gravity. When you think of the kicking too much, you tend to push the ground. You want to use the force of pushing on the floor for kicking. It inevitably appears as a sign of movement. Therefore, instead of creating the power by pushing the ground with your toes, you need to raise your leg itself quickly. Pull quickly. Keep your back toes off the floor. This practice will be effective for you because if your back toes are off the floor, you can't kick the floor. Instead of pushing with your toes, lift your entire foot. Instead of the heel leaving the ground first, the entire sole of the foot should rise vertically. Use the inside of your body. As a result, the action of kicking can be omitted. That's why the opponent feels fast. Depending on the angle of the ankle, knee and hip joint, the my with the opponent changes. For example, short distance. When you are close to your opponent, from here, your kick reaches him. But if it's little far, you can't reach the target. So your ankle and knee have to go forward. Then, the kick gets strength. It goes forward. If the target is much further, take your ankle, knee, and hip joint forward more. Then you can kick like this. You can adjust the mai with these. Hikyashi is for not getting caught by the opponent. You pull back your leg before your opponent catches it. So why? Another purpose is, even though you get caught, you can pull the opponent by hikyashi and attack. If your toes are pointing forward at this time, you can exert the strength. You can pull the opponent. You can draw him towards you, but when your toes point outwards, you can't exert any strength. Okay, change. Little more forward. Okay, turn your toes forward. Now, pull your leg. You can exert your strength. One more time. You can pull your leg. Turn your toes outside a little. In this way, you can't pull your leg. You can't exert your strength. Therefore, for Mai, this is for short range. Middle and long. You adjust the Mai by these angles. Then when your opponent dodges or catches your kick, you can manage it quickly. The moment you pull your leg, skip. You can strike Tsuki. Please pay attention to your posture. Shift of center of gravity and breathing in your practice.